Hello everyone. I don't know if you can hear me, but I hope you can. Um, so I thought I'd do another get ready with me, but not really. I'm just I'm gonna be braiding my hair and I just wanted to update you guys, do a little video diary um on what's been happening or <clears throat> what's been going on so yeah um i tried to well i actually filmed another video last time and it was great but it <clears throat> was definitely too long so i need to like cut it down short so this time i wrote down what i wanted to talk about so, I'm gonna focus on those things. And, yeah. I'm just putting some oil in my hair. I'm gonna do four braids in my hair. So, I'm gonna split it into quarter sections. And, yeah. So, last time I told you guys about... <clears throat> my plan on what I was gonna do and well um I don't want to say sorry to disappoint but like I don't know like it's not gonna be it's not any or it's not any different from Nothing has really changed <laughs> that much, is what I'm trying to say. Physically, on the outside, nothing has really changed. Besides that I have been writing more and doing more, which is good. But, um, what I said I was going to do, I have not been <laughs> doing that because life gets in the way. And I've just been busy with that. I mean, busy in a sense that, like, I have those things, and then, like, when I do have time, I just don't go to those things. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I have been more, I don't know, I want to say, <clears throat> in the last video I said that, I was a lot happier and I think I am actually even way more happier than I was in my last video which is great but there is some like doubts here and there that I'm starting to feel which is not so great but <clears throat> I mean everyone has those moments where it's like you know everything's good but then you know, something happens so, yeah, I've been dealing with my brain doing that, and yeah, so I have been more like just doing whatever I want to do, which has been making me feel a lot more happier and more in control of what I want to do, and because of that, I have been seeing a lot more synchronicities and those are signs i believe from the universe and from you know there those are definite signs i feel like because every time i look when i'm not looking i'm never really looking but it just so happens to just pop up and i'm just like and that is just like a great reassuring for me that I'm on the right track and everything. And I have been giving, getting more vivid dreams, which is also like new too. I've always had vivid dreams, but like for the past, I haven't been getting them so often and so like, 
I don't know, crazy. Like, these visit dreams I've been getting have been more frequent. And they have been more, like, I don't know, crazy. Very, like, sign-worthy. Not like, oh, you dreamt of this because, you know, you saw this happen or you heard about this news, so now you dreamt about it. It was more so, like, B, we're gonna take you to a place and you're gonna be so, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like... You know when you have really weird dreams, like very weird? I've been getting getting those and I have been remembering them when I like wake up. So I've been like writing it down and searching it up like what they mean and all that good stuff. So yeah. <clears throat> so those are the spiritually new things <laughs> that are happening with me and trusting myself. And I have started journaling as well. Just to keep myself sane and to manifest. And in general, I always write, but I always write in like a notepad just for like to do's or ideas. But now I'm like writing and I'm writing for myself. So it's like part journaling, part like encouraging, manifesting, gratefulness, all that good stuff. So. Yeah. So there's that. Um, but obviously, um, there have been some downfalls in <clears throat> going on this path of just choosing me. I was gonna say being selfish, but I mean, that is the word for it. So last time I talked about how, like, I talked about how I'm gonna be at home, I'm gonna um be there to watch my niece and be there for my mom and stuff. But at the same time when I do have time I was gonna go to the wreck and like write and stuff. What really happened is that I've only been to the wreck that I've only been to the wreck twice. And that first clip that I showed you in the other video was me using their facility for Well actually have I been there twice? Well I've only been there three times. And I've that clip that I showed you guys was me using one of their studios and I was like, Oh my gosh, so overwhelming, so exciting. But I didn't show you guys the other half of the video where I was like very anxious and like oh no is this like for me should I be doing this like that day I did not get anything done maybe did I get anything done I don't think I did I think I tried to like write something or continue finishing one of my songs but nothing really worked out because I was just so overwhelmed in this environment like it was nothing I was used to I'm always writing at home I'm comfortable at home when I go and write songs and stuff I usually do that when I'm in a mood and when I feel like I have inspiration that's when I go for songs but this one was like scheduled out I booked the studio for like an hour and a half and I was like okay we're gonna crank out a song yeah and then i go in and then i was like oh my god like what the beep am i doing this is so weird the studio was nice it wasn't like a whole like ooh, with all the gadgets and gizmos and keyboard and all that it was like a table with a computer that has a daw and a little like microphone on the corner so very like acoustic very homey vibes but I still wasn't comfortable with that so at the end of the day I ended up going home and I was like feeling really sad I almost got hit by a car but you know it was all good and yeah it was just I don't know it was so strange like it kind of made me like second 
guess and think like not about the whole music thing but just like am I in the right environment is this like enough and I don't know I think it just made me think like try to like get to know myself like okay you're choosing yourself but like now you got to choose what you feel like is right for you so now I have to narrow it down to do you think you would work better more in the studio do you work better at home you have all these things to do and responsibilities at home and they can be distractions obviously so I'm like pulling my hair um yeah I feel like anyone who's watching this video is probably like oh my god she did brush her hair I like to think of comb my hair people to each their own um which is like a good motto for life because I've been like because of that I've been second guessing like oh my god am I even worthy enough like I really like I make these big changes in my life and then I get scared that it's not enough and then I end up backtracking and being like okay I'm gonna do this and then I'll get back to doing what I want to do and I think that's what was basically I was setting myself up again for that like I was gonna stay home help around the house um get a home care job to take care of my mom and everything which is I mean it's better than going out and being like oh I have a schedule and all that stuff like that would take up time and all that but if I'm at home I obviously would be still be able to do what I want to do while getting paid and although it sounds like a great idea <clears throat> the whole process of me trying to apply or just just finding an application it was just frustrating like it was a lot and my brain I move very slow and I think about everything all at once and I overwhelm myself and I just got frustrated to the point where I was like I didn't honestly I honestly didn't want to do it anymore and I was like I just want to do this right now like I just want to do me and I know I have these responsibilities and I will do them but taking on another thing that I wasn't passionate about but just to be reassuring and just to kind of be reassuring for the part of me that's like I just want to be safe and reassuring for the part of where I just want my family to not worry about me too much um it just wasn't like at that moment I was like no this I can't so <clears throat> I was on the laptop and I was like you know what I was just at that I was just really like at that point where I was like I don't understand like why can't I just be freaking happy so I was like I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna do what I'm doing right now and not worry about it so I that's what I've been doing nothing so basically nothing has really changed I haven't been to the wreck I am still taking care of home life of taking care of watching the baby and watching out for my mom and doing chores and stuff and you know it's regular but now I don't have my other uh, mindset where I'm like investing too much into something that is not really serving for me um so now whenever I do have break I go on break or I go and <clears throat> work on music and to be honest I have been way more productive and a lot more happier than I have ever been and even though it's unsure of for like um where everything is kind of going I am not worried because I feel like 
I know everything will be fine because I get those synchronicities, I get those dreams, and it's just, I feel like, I feel a lot more happier and the unsure part is just helping me to practice just to believe in myself and be more confident in, you know, the things that I want to pursue. So, yeah. So, that happened. And, yeah. I am investing more in myself. And I'm not going to, or at least I'll try not to, backtrack and be like, uh, freak out and then like, you know, find a job and be like, I just have to be safe. I know everyone is different. Like, people obviously have jobs to like, you know, continue paying for the things that they need, like equipment and stuff. And I have saved enough money to like get some equipment to help me further on with my songwriting process. It's just that, I mean, for one, I am very lucky and appreciative and grateful that my family isn't so pushy or so fearful. Well, I, I guess they are fearful, but like, they're not, no one's really around at this point because everybody's kind of moved out. But to the point where it's kind of like, you can't keep doing this because I can so because I am sure of myself and although I do take a long time I know that I can do it because I believe in myself and I know it takes time um did I do this right? And I know that it takes time for me to get to that point. But yeah. So that's where I've been. I've been kind of like on an emotional roller coaster of just. Oh, what is on an emotional roller coaster of just like, like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go out there into the unknown. And then also, oh God, is this right? I don't think I can make it this far. Um, I'm not prepared, but it's like, I mean, really, when are you prepared? You know, especially when you're pursuing things like this. So it's been fun and very scary and I think about like a couple of days ago I was really like I think I was about to fall into a slump and I I felt myself and I I knew I was falling into a slump and I didn't want to fall and I was like trying to like it was a good thing I caught myself because I was really like spiraling in my head like oh my god you're not gonna be able to do it you're gonna have to like, what you thought you planned is not gonna work out. And yeah. And I was like, oh my God. Like here I am thinking like, whatever decision I make, you know, whether it's right or not, <clears throat> I know it's the right decision. I feel like every decision you make, you, you wanna hope it's right. And I'm not saying my decision is right, but I'm not saying my decision is wrong either. I just made it and I'm trying to see where I'm going with it. So, yeah. My hair looks so scrawny. But yeah. I don't know if you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say, but I mean, this is more, more so for me to just look back on and be like, yeah, 
I, I, I know how you felt during that time and the words resonate now or it's like, you know, but look where you've, how far you've come, you know? So hopefully it's more so like that than it is anything else. So, yeah. I feel like it's a good thing that I pulled myself out of that rut because I was really like about to spin and just, I don't know, I was really about to go ham on myself because I'm so hard on myself all the time. Yeah, I take my time and everything. You always have to like <laughs> reassure because all this time I've been like living and basing off of fear and it's like no now it's not time to do that now it's time to live and base off of because i know and i'm vulnerable and i'm confident and brave and i'm empowered and i just know that everything will be okay so i'm back in a good place of just reminding myself those things and my trouble area is that I have to learn to let go, like, of those standards and, like, oh, you should be here in life or you should be there. Like, stop comparing myself to others. And to just focus on myself and just remember that I am on my own path and I am going on my own path at my own time and things will happen in its own way for me and I have to let go of everything else like yes you want those things but like you can't you can't want them now it's not it doesn't work like that like everyone talks about manifesting these days like oh I'm gonna manifest this and I'm gonna manifest that and that's good but it's not gonna be like, I manifest this, I manifest that, and then bam, you wake up and it's like here. Maybe it'll come sooner, maybe it'll come later, but one of the key things that I've recently learned is that when you manifest, one of the important things is that you have to remember to let go. You have to be like, I want this to happen, I believe it, I feel it, I can see it, and then you have to just let it go and I want to say not think about it yeah I think it works if you don't constantly think about it because if you're constantly thinking about it you have you are having those expectations of it being this but if you don't think about it you kind of forget about it and then one day it just comes up then it's like hey and yeah so that's one of the things that I'm finding trouble in with um, right now. But other than that, yeah, everything is going to be fine and everything's going to be okay and I'm just going to do me and good things are coming. And I know it, and yeah, and good things are coming for you too, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say or how to say it, but I feel like I just need to get this off my chest and just be like, clear your thoughts. You were here, didn't really work out that great, but that's fine because you're gonna keep pushing and you're gonna keep being you and you're gonna keep just being courageous and making those taking those risks and going to the edge falling off the edge and close your eyes and remember that it's you're going to be caught because you know no one's gonna let you fall so not you're not gonna let yourself fall so yeah that's a message from my higher self